Mishali Ndamase. I want a divorce. And I want all your money. Six rumors about you that are not true. I don't it's, know. it's already time. <laughs> Come on! Guys, I have some disappointing news for you. Um, I'm not going to be hosting today. Oh. I know. Oh. Uh, do you think he's changed since he's had a? Uh, he's become a father. He's it's changed him, right? No, he oh, just changes changes diapers. You know, there's only one way to find out. Please welcome your host, Donovan Goliath. <laughs> beep 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 beep. Bye bye, Don. Be, be, be. Ooh, where, where is he? Where is he? Don't know. I think he's changing diapers. Don't know. Don't know. Sorry, guys. I was just catching up on a small power nap because I don't know if you guys heard. I've got a. <laughs> we know. Hey! Right. You hey! guys. You, 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 you want to see any pictures? Do you want to see? I've got some pictures. Yay, still, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Oh, so oh. you know, everybody knows? We know. You don't need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to see any pictures, everybody yeah, is. No, 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 it's okay. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Light Show. I am your host, uh, Papa Don. Yay! Hey, 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 hey. That's nice, we like that. As you can see, uh, the full gang is here today, and we're going to have an amazing show. Uh, we're kicking things off with our guest, U Michali, who is amazing. And of course, we close things off with a blazing performance by Uli Cole. I don't wanna wait. I don't wanna wait for you. I don't wanna lie to you. Before we kick things off, uh, there are a couple of winners that need to be announced. In the last episode, Rouge Werner um, asked people, what do they love about the light show? And there are two answers that we particularly loved. And those answers come from Uele Tukibeni. Let's give Ele to a massive round of applause. Well done for doing well. And of course, Umadiba Mokumele. They walk away with a case of Castle Light and of course, a Castle Light Marshall speaker. Now, if you want to walk away with these amazing prizes, all you need to do is like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to the end to find out how you can win. For now, um, however, um, I do need to head off for a little bit. I've got a feed and a bourbon. Oh, tummy time. time. Tummy time. Is this the same no, as having a Ben 10? Is it not the same? I, I must go give them their skateboards and stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Michal is waiting backstage. Oh, can I know? All right, let's, let's end the show. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be all right. Keep it light. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome South Africa's most followed and adored digital creator, Mishali Ndamase. Get over here. Look now, look, look, look. We didn't, uh, you don't, you know what, it's fine. Like we know, you didn't have to do the whole thing. You honestly <laughs> I had to. No, because like. I had to have a dramatic entrance. How are you? And are you happy for me to call you a social media influencer? content creator, what is it? All of that. So it's just all of it. So yeah. So like you've got like an A4 size business card. <laughs> just all of these things. <laughs> Not even, I mean, all these things more or less mean the same thing. It's just yeah. the people come up with fancy terms like digital content creator, but it really just describes what we do. They all mean the same thing. If you're an influencer, um, at the end of the day, you are creating content. How many videos before you realized, oh, okay, this is, this is a thing. I can make money from this. The second video. No ways. I swear to God. No ways. <laughs> Nobody makes it on the second I video. I swear, it was the second video because the, the brand that I reviewed a product for in the first video ah. hit me up. Very big thank you to all of you guys for having such a positive response to my first video. I was so nervous about putting it out there. You started watching a lot of makeup tutorials at 14, right? And at the time, did you think that you'd make a career out of it or was it just like, ah, let me try and learn something? It's really, it's really something I wanted to pursue as a hobby. Um, I planned on going to corporate. That never happened. Do what? <laughs> um, I was going to work for like a beauty powerhouse. Okay. I w I've always been in love with makeup. I was going to study marketing and then go work for like a L'Oreal or something behind the scenes. Yeah. And then create content as a hobby. But then when I started out, I realized that you can actually really monetize it. So there wasn't a need for that route. But um, yeah, when I was watching the tutorials, I was very much inspired by the people's content that I was consuming. And I knew that it's something I definitely wanted to do one day. 
Like, will we ever yeah. see a Michelali brand? Definitely. And have you thought of a name? I have really? a name, yeah. What is it called? Can you just I can't say. No, yeah, okay, give us a clue. Okay, give us a clue. Is it your name or is it something that... No, it's not my name. Um, it starts with an M, but I can't say the name, unfortunately. It's just called Makeup. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you act? I have gotten some acting deals here and there. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, We've got to play out a scene then. <laughs> <laughs> <No way. laughs> We've got, we got to play out a scene, right? Okay. Let's say... Ah, uh, no, please. Quickly. No, just a very quick scene. We're going to go full days of our lives in bold and beautiful here. Drama, right? Oh, my God. We are a couple and I have just uh, completely broken your heart or disappointed you. Think Malena, John Black, those vibes, right? And C. Are you being serious? Michali, you know, things just haven't been good between the two of us right now, so I just, I just don't know. I just don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say to you. And I just found out that you're cheating on me. Well, I mean, it's... Oh, did you need a break for me too? Look, you can get I a little a divorce. bit... divorce. No, we can't have a divorce now. There's still that deal that you're working... And I want working. all your money. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> <That's a camera. laughs> you know what I love about that? At first, you were like, no, I don't want to do this. And I was trying to play it. And then, boom, you just got into it. Boom, and just like, bam. You, were, <laughs> you pushed me into a corner. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you very much for being here. Um, we're going to head over right now and we are going to uh, play a game called Stay in the Game because you seem very chilled and composed right now, but I'm going to put you to the ultimate test to see how you can fare. We good? I'm excited. Let's go. Mishali, welcome to the famous Stay in the Game here on The Light Show. But yeah, so the first round, 24 seconds. Try and list as many things as possible. Are you ready? I am. Okay. Name at least six makeup mistakes that people often make and go. Wrong foundation shade, um, don't blend their contour correctly, wrong highlighter undertone, um, oh my gosh, they don't <laughs> color correct. Okay. Um, not setting your concealer. Okay. Um, not using setting spray, not using a yes. primer. Okay. Um, um, not exfoliating your skin. Very bad. But that's not a makeup, but it, it affects how your makeup looks. What yes, else? and done. Okay, I got eight. Congratulations, you managed to get eight. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, um, I was quite surprised because you got to number four there and you started stumbling. Isn't it weird how your brain just goes? Yes! Not today. You start panicking! <laughs> okay, here we go. Tell us at least six rumors about you that are not true. Um. Come what? on. Six rumors about me? Yes, that are not true. Um. Yo. <laughs> ah, you were. Wait, yeah. um. There's no waiting here. Know. It's already time. Come on, surely. First thing is, I, I, I don't know. So like nothing. Nobody's ever said anything. No, I mean like, there's oh. a lot of them, but I don't record them in my mind. Twitter is always saying things. Okay, sure. <laughs> Right, Michali, uh, currently sitting on eight points. Uh, unfortunately, something happened in the second round, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that another day. Uh, but maybe third round could be, a, could be a moment for you, except there's just a little bit more pressure here. Six seconds, that's not a lot of time. Can't we add time to it? No, unfortunately, we cannot add time. Six seconds, yeah, how about this? If you give this channel 10,000 of your subscribers, <laughs> we'll put 10 more seconds in. Done. You see, very simple how that we operate. to come back. <laughs> All right, here we go. This should be very simple for you. Michali, in six seconds, tell us your biggest regrets and go. Um, spending money recklessly when I first started working. Um, uh, closing the gate on my granny's car. I am good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give you that second one because it's it's a really interesting one. You got two points in that but round. But then how do you ask a question where I have to say a sentence in six seconds? You could have just said spending unnecessary money. Wrecking grandmother's car. You see what Valid. I'm saying? Now, I wanna know, just unpack very quickly the story of closing the gate on your grandmother's car. Oh, I was very little. I was a naughty child. Mm. So I think I didn't want her to leave. I don't remember the story correctly. Yeah. And I went to the bazaar and I closed. 
the gate. And it oh no no no! I I used the remote actually. And it hit the side of a car. It hit her car. We didn't because our gate at home didn't have a sensor back then. And what car was it? It was a Mercedes. She was very upset. Ah! Got a serious hiding. Well, of course you did. Yeah, she's now watching and go charge for the second <laughs> round. Yeah, bona. That's what happens. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you so much for playing Stay in the Game with us. Uh, that has been Michalin Damase uh, managing to get a humble 10 uh, out of 18. It's, uh, it's not bad. Were you a, a grade A student? No. Oh. So this was your average score. It's cool. I bought <laughs> I mean, I used to do pretty well. I got some A's here and there. Some okay. su some subjects I used to perform very well in. Do you know what's going to happen now? You're going to go home and you're going to go, eh, hey, a romance. <laughs> and they're going to come to you like this. That's the problem with this. Right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mitlali only managing to get 10 points, which is three more than Elsa, which means she knocks Elsa off the number five spot and takes it. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out if anybody is going to take Mpop Pops down, right? But for more important news, Lichle and Mojack, what is happening? <laughs> Welcome to another incredible edition of the Light News. My name is Mojack. Hello. I have a surname. It's, and it's not f Yeah. Yeah. The My real, mom's genuine. Gonna hate we're just that. Just calling home affairs quickly. My name is Mojack Loco, here with my wonderful co anchor, Lithem Siman. In our first story, the government has opened up the vaccination gates and all the people between 18 and 35 can now get involved. As a youth player myself, I can't wait to be in line making TikToks, wearing the latest sneaker drop and listening to Amapiano. We like to salute the droves of young people who are going out there and getting vaccinated to protect themselves and those around them. Nelium would be proud. We are going forward. In other news, popular chicken franchise KFC has officially announced that they will be taking their orders via WhatsApp. This came after KFC was losing many customers to their competitors because people found it very awkward ordering via an intercom whilst wearing a mask. Sorry? Many on Twitter have accepted this as a very good thing and they've confirmed that it is actually quite efficient. At least now KFC's slogan can move to It's finger texting good. Get it, because you're not... You are Tobetsin. A tissue that Lionel Messi used in his Barcelona farewell has gone up for sale. The tissue was listed at a price of 1 million US uh, dollars. That can't be... Check there. Yeah, it says 1 million, not Zim, but US. US dollars. Yeah. So you can sell personal items at that price? Yes. Uh, in that case, uh, over here I have a bottle that Donovan drank from. Episode 1, exclusive. Like a Jordan one. I'm going to start the bidding low. Boma 73 tau. No, 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 no. Well, at least Mjolo the pandemic is free. Love is in the air and Tinder is looking for ways to bring back their lost lover from Woolies. R&B musician Ari Lennox asked people, how did y'all meet the love of your lives? And Notolo responded by saying they met at a salad section in Woolies. Many flooded her timeline to get advice how to find love. Mm. Guys, it's simple. First, go to Woolies. Then, go to the salad section. Then wait. Then smile. It's going to be difficult, though, because now we're wearing masks. So maybe smile with your eyes? I don't know. It's been reported, though, that many people are starting to work from Woolies instead of home. Good luck, peeps. Those are the news from myself, Mojack and Lisa. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel at the end of the show so you can win an amazing prize. We'll see you guys soon. Throwing over to Nina with the game changer for this week. Nina Kapina. Yo, Nina, who's our game changer for the week? You know, Don, if the young South African rapper Lucas Raff's meteoric rise to fame wasn't inspiring enough, he is currently celebrating the announcement of his signature to Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin's Def Jam Africa. What you, guys, Def Jam, what do you know about that? Listen, it's a big deal. He signed there with Nasty C, with Boity, with uh, Casper Nyovest. I, I, I don't even have words to say how excited I am about this. It's a big deal. Slide, 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 slide. This is what happened, right? So Lucas Raps, he, his government name, by the way, is Luke Duncan Malong. 
there he is. It's 2016. He's a schoolboy. He gets his chance to rap with Nasty C at the Durban Day Huawei Music Festival in Don Don, right? And he's there and he's rapping with Nasty C and people are like, whoa. And then he's like, you know what? He just drops out of school at 17. He's like, I don't need home economics. And he throws his book out the window. Okay, obviously some of the events have been changed to like, you know, I'm trying to, uh, that's not true. But the point is, he's like, hey, I'm gonna go to Johannesburg because I have this dream of being a rapper. Then he gets to Johannesburg and he makes his dreams a reality. God bless his dreams indeed. I think that this is amazing. You're a game changer, sir, a game changer. Donnie, Don? I think you can reveal the questions for the competition now. Donny? Hey, Rouge. Yeah, sorry, Rouge. I think you're gonna have to take over. I think Donny's sleeping again. Yep, yeah, keep it light. Yo, Rouge, how about we wrap this up? Find me like yellow pages, ring light in the boot, hula box and hula boot. Like, like blessings, we say that you selling messages. You issue. Pity ain't nobody trying to was that me. I'm offline. I blue tick if you a KFC. Cause I'm cheap, right? Hope the order on the way. Do you repeat the child? I'm sorry, no, not to die. Cupid hella busy in the market, true. No longer in the club. Now we find a love and Nile too. Matchmaking in woolies, I see you're winning. Not to nugga competition, love. We ain't trying to mess with you. Please don't shoot the messenger. Ginger, uh -huh. do you know? No. I do do. No. The Terminator. The Terminator. So you put your feet together. Uh -huh. Hands up like a lever. Like this. Salute to the haters. Okay. Do the Terminator. Terminator. Then we go. And then we go. Yenza so. Yenza so. Yenza so. Yenza so. Yenza so. Yenza so. It feels so good to be back in the swing of things. Uh, thank you so much for joining us as usual. What a fantastic show. Now we do still have a case of Castle Light and a Castle Light Marshall speaker to give away. All you need to do is tell us who in your life reminds you to keep it light. Remember, you can only win this if you are a subscriber. Make sure you like, comment. You guys know the drill completely. For now, however, we play out with the amazing sounds of Lee Cole. But always remember, we gonna be all right. Keep it light. You can't sleep past three. Lights on can barely drag my feet. Cause I still bleed. Distract myself pretending to be free. I can finally breathe 
Cause holding on to you was slowly killing me. We gon' be alright. Keep it light. Can't get enough of the light show? Why not binge all other episodes? Just click here. Just here. Somewhere. Just click.